Hi, I'm RJ Baxter. You're out of the box lender with your Saturday strategy. So I want to tell you the story this week about the first bomber that was developed in the early 1920s. I don't know if you guys knew this, but just 20 years after the Wright brothers flew the first airplane that was made out of materials like cloth and things like that, the, the first contract was given to Boeing to develop the first bomber. And there was a lot of controversy surrounding this because um, a lot of people thought the government was wasting money, that it was uh, a waste of time, it was something we didn't need. And this was an incredible technological innovation because this is a plane just 20 years after the Wright brothers that was made completely out of metal, had four engines and could house a crew of 10 people. And uh, just to think of flying something like this was unbelievable. So the first prototype was developed by Boeing in the early 1920s and they set out to uh, fly this gigantic airplane on its first test flight. While the, the pilot taxied around, they had four people in the plane at the time for this first test flight and everything looked great. The, the engines fired up, the airplane taxied, it started heading off the runway and it went up maybe 100 feet and then all of a sudden the plane started to bank to the left and it took a nosedive right into the ground and crashed and burned and two out of the four people in the crew were killed. And there was controversy on this airplane before that and it got really bad after that. There was a lot in the press that this was ridiculous, that the U.S. shouldn't be doing this, that it was a, again a waste of money, that we were killing people. Um, but it turned out there was a reason for why the plane crashed. And the reason why is because in those first prototypes, uh, these planes had a big, um, you know, like a steering wheel that controlled uh, the elevation and the turning of the airplane. Well, the problem was is that they had to make sure that the calibration stayed the same. And the only way to do that was they developed a system where the, uh, where the steering wheel locked in place with a pin that was placed at the bottom of the steering column. So that that way it didn't go out of line when it was sitting parked and getting worked on and that sort of thing. Well, it turns out on that first test flight that the pilot had forgotten to remove the pin. So when they took off, they didn't have control over the, over the flying of the plane. So that led to the crash. It wasn't because the plane wasn't capable of flying, but it was because they had forgotten to take this pin out. So after this happened, they, Boeing came up with the idea of a checklist that every pilot had to go through before flying an airplane. And this is something that survived to, to tell today for pilots. Even, every commercial flight or even small airplane that's flown, the pilot goes through a simple checklist. And this checklist is only four or five things typically for a smaller uh, private plane, but it ensures that the pilot's not gonna make a fatal mistake like removing that pin. So why is this important to your real estate business? The reason why is that no matter how good we are, we have to systematize things so that we don't forget things. Even though we, most of us are professionals and have been doing this for a long time, we're human beings and human beings forget things. One thing that I did in my business several years ago that has helped my process significantly is I put checklists into my process. The checklists are mandatory to do at certain steps throughout the process so that we don't miss things that are critical to make sure that transactions don't go south on us. And this is something that can translate to any business, including your real estate business. So think of those critical things, those things that are gonna cost lives, well maybe not lives, but are gonna cause people to uh, fall out of contract or someone to uh, not get that house their dreams because you missed something that is something that can cause a transaction to derail. Put it on a checklist and discipline yourself to do that checklist on every transaction. And it's gonna make a huge difference in your process and in your business. So that's my strategy this week. My name is RJ Baxter. Don't forget that I do home loans. Happy Halloween. You guys be safe tonight. You guys have a great weekend.